Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com where you can find over 9,000 different styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, brand name and in-house, but something that suits your needs at a reasonable price. GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middle person so you can save up to 70% off retail and get a cute pair of glasses. A complete pair of glasses, including prescription lenses, starts at $30 and every frame comes with a basic prescription lens. So shopping at GlassesUSA.com is a risk-free experience. If you're not happy with your glasses for any reason, you may return them within the first two weeks of receiving them. 100% money back guarantee, including free shipping. So GlassesUSA.com also offers a quiz that helps you narrow down your choices if you find the field of options too wide the quiz will help you narrow down choices that will suit your face you can also try on glasses like I did using the virtual mirror tool to see how the glasses fit so I chose a few glasses so let me know down in the comments which ones are your favorites I love these ones aren't they great and then I got a pair of sunglasses because summer I hope is on the way <laughs> These are nice and big, but what's really fun about these is that they're color changing. So the, right now they're blue and yellow, and when you go out into the sun, they turn pink and purple. Fun, right? Another pair of glasses. So if you'd like to try GlassesUSA.com for yourself, click the link down below for a special offer. Big thanks to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be testing out yet another thrift store find. I love going to the thrift store and finding treasures and cleaning them and seeing if they work and bring things back to life. If you've missed the videos from this series, I'll put a link down below. I'll create a playlist. I've done an ice cream maker at this point, a Twinkie maker, and a really old bread maker. And today I'm going to be testing out this heavy machine and this is a 40 or 50 year old juicer that I found at my local savers I believe I got this from and it was $9.99 so $10 for this juicer it was very dirty so I spent a lot of time cleaning it so cue with the little cleaning montage So to clean this machine, I used a couple of things. I use some dishwashing, automatic dishwashing detergent sprinkled in some hot water. I also use a solution of ammonia and water as well. And soapy water works really great. I think what really helped was using some soft bristled brushes. I used a toothbrush and a little straw brush to help clean out the nooks and crannies because this is quite dirty. But here it is in its beautiful clean state. Isn't it a lovely? I should get some footage of this all cleaned up, but it's all shiny and beautiful, nice and clean. And this is an Acme Challenger Juicerator, manufactured by the Acme Juicer Manufacturing Company, Sierra Madre, California. So I'm gonna sound like everyone's grandmother and say that a lot of things are not made like they used to. <laughs> this thing is super heavy. There are plastic components, but they're very, very sturdy. I was really impressed by the build quality of this appliance as a lot of old appliances and gadgetry. Again, I'll put a link down below to all the old gadgets I've tested. They're just made with sturdier materials and just better quality, in my opinion. I mean, look at the switch. I mean, look at that switch. That's so robust right there. Metal switch on off, just super robust and very, very simple engineering and design. We've got, this is a centrifugal juicer. Now I know there are a lot of people that are really big into juicing. They're gonna tell me, Emmy, you should be doing cold press. And right, but I paid $10 for this. And my biggest goal is I wanna see if it works and I wanna taste the juice that it makes. I'm not as interested in the pros and cons between a centrifugal versus cold press and all that stuff. I'm not gonna 
do that. I just really want to know if this machine works. <laughs> but if you're interested in all the nuances between cold press versus centrifugal, then by all means, have at it. Today, I'm going to be testing this juicer that I found. I'm going to be calling it 50 years old because I didn't find a lot of information about this. This was made by the Acme company, which was acquired by Waring. You can still get parts for this. There are only five parts. There's this plunger. There's this lid right here. There is a nut that holds everything into place. This is the blade that spins around inside, all shiny and cleaned up. And there is a basket. Look at this, look at that beautiful basket, all shiny. And the basket has tiny little holes. And what will happen is that the interior will spin and the blade will grind up all the veggies and all the little pulpy bits will spin to the outside of this basket, spinning the juice out. That's why it's a central fugal type juicer and it will come out this little spout in the front. Now, the limiting factor of this particular juicer is the fact that this basket's gonna get filled up. So I'm gonna have to stop the machine and clean it out. I think more modern day type centrifugal juicers have an actual hopper, so you can have a lot more space for your pulp, but this is an old machine. So I wasn't able to find too much information about this particular machine. I found dates ranging from 1970 to 1976. So I'm gonna split the difference and say this machine is 50 years old based on the toggle and all the other components. I certainly believe that. And I've cleaned it all up and let's go ahead and make some juice. I'm gonna be making three types of juices, three different colors, and I'm gonna taste them and we'll see what they're like. I'm gonna be using this little pitcher I have. This comes from a lemon reamer to catch my juice. So beet tops, kale, cucumber, green apples, a little knob of ginger, and a small lemon. going. That's good. And I'm going to start with some apples. Here we go. Into the chute. Mush it down. It's working. Of course it's working. All right. Look at this beautiful color of my juice. So that red came from the red veins from the beet tops. Strain out the fine pulp from this. Very green, and I think it would have been greener and less olive had I not put the beet leaves in there. Alrighty, <laughs> cheers. Mmm, it's good. Mmm. Very tangy. So that one small lemon offered a lot of tang to this. I think almost too tangy. Maybe half a lemon would be better. Mmm. I also use sour green apples, Granny Smith apples, which are nice and tart, but I like it. Super refreshing, tart. Added a little bit of ginger in there because in Chinese medicine, they believe drinking and eating fruits, particularly vegetables raw, are very cold. So you add something like ginger or a little bit of chili powder or some heat to kind of balance things out. Consistency is very smooth, not at all pulpy and delicious. If you don't like green drinks, give this a shot. So it should be really noted that juicing removes all of the fiber from a plant and that fiber is really important. We need fiber, so we are regular. So it's important to remember that eating plants as plants is a great idea too. From stir fries, salad, all that great stuff. Juicing's lovely, but you are missing the fiber. Make sure you unplug this before taking this apart. Aha! and the blade. I did notice that this machine had more trouble shredding up the leafy greens. And that's the pulp that comes out. All the fiber. This of course can be used. You could use this in baked goods if you like. I'm going to be feeding it to my chickens. Alrighty, so I just cleaned out the machine. Now let's make a red drink. This is going to contain half a small beet, about three small Granny Smith apples, another lemon, I think this time I'm just gonna use half a lemon. For a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna add some turmeric. Here we go. Apples first. More apples and a little bit of beet top. 
Oh, that color is so beautiful. Did you know that my first job ever was at a juice shop? Actually, it was a smoothie store. And Mark McGuire would come in on occasion. And to see Mark McGuire in real life, he is a tall person. I think he must have been, or is, I mean, Mark, you're not dead, um, <laughs> six five or something. I don't even remember what he got at any rate. I remember Mark coming into the shop. <laughs> okay. The red beet juice really overpowers any of the green. So even though we have lots of greens in here, all you see is this gorgeous red. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. There is the red juice. Isn't that beautiful? Cheers. Ooh, I like that one. Mmm, a little bit sweeter than the green drink I just made. Still have the apples, the little bit of tangerine in there is lovely, but everything blends together so that you don't have any distinctive fruity flavors. Like if I were to taste this blindfolded, I would never be able to, I don't think, to tell you the composition of it. It's lovely. It's sweet and tangy. The beet flavor is actually very mild. Beets I love, but they can have a very earthy flavor that can overpower. But in a juice like this, hardly tasted at all. It is just, just lovely. This one has a little bit more viscosity to it, a little bit more body, although it is still very smooth and not smoothie like. We did strain it and all the pulp of course is in that basket, but just lovely. I like the balance of sour and sweet in this one. Beautiful. Again, I'm gonna clean everything up. Butterapaka. Alrighty, so lastly, let's make an orange uh, yellow drink. Alrighty, here we go. So this orange and lemon drink contains three small tangerines, a little thumb of ginger, a little thumb of turmeric, about a half cup of pineapple, half a lemon, and one small orange. Mm, it's gonna be good. So far, I'm so pleased with my $10 fine. Champion machine works great and you almost instantly get juice. It's definitely pulpier than the others. And that may be from the citrus and from the pineapple juice. Look at that. So beautiful. Alrighty, here we go. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that one's got a nice little tropical feeling. You've got the pineapple, the orange, it's delicious. That combination of pineapple and orange together, so refreshing. A little bit of lemon in there too, a little bit of tartness. I think I taste a little bit of the ginger in this one. Very nice. Gosh, it's hard to choose a favorite. Ah. I like them all. So good. This one is too sour, too much lemon. But had I used half the amount of lemon, I think that would have been perfect. But all absolutely delicious, complex, full of gorgeous nutrition and antioxidants. I mean, look at the color. I am super happy with my $10 purchase, a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of TLC. It's all I needed was a good cleaning and I hope it lasts another 50 years. Alrighty, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed my thrift store find and thanks so much for joining me and big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. If you'd like a special offer, click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.